Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, I'm Carl with Metal Media Workshop. And today I'm going to answer some questions again. Um, the last video we did, uh, some people wanted to know about the mill. And then, um, to, and then I've got a couple of questions on how to read a veneer caliper. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, you know, when you buy your veneer calipers, it should come with a book on how to read them. Uh, but you know, no one can read those books. <laughs> um, so we're just going to show you firsthand on how I do it. I'm not saying that the way I do it is the right way. Um, but I know it's definitely not the wrong way. Um, so first, let's bring you over to the workbench. And let's just kind of talk about what a veneer caliber is. So let's let's do this. So here's a couple of different veneer calipers. Um, they're all different sizes, and you have some, some are different shapes. They do different things. But basically, they all read the same. For example, here is a here is a gear tooth. Come on. You can focus there, big guy. Here is a um a gear tooth. Um caliper. Here is a surface gauge or surface height gauge um, veneer. And then here on the workbench we have um, just different sizes. Like this one. Oh. Um, well this one right here is a 24 inch. But this one you also have veneers that read Right there where it says number one, two, three, E and M, uh, English and metric. Unfortunately, some jobs I do are metric. Um, but basically, the point I'm trying to make is you have you know, different sizes. Like this one right here, this is a 48 inch. Then you got some 12 inches, and then you got some 6 inches, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. And... Just let me show you some of the functions of them. All right, so here's your veneer. Let's just move that out of the way. So, this main part right here is your master bar. And then here in the middle, your slide is, that's your veneer right here. The top and bottom are your veneer. And then this part here is for your fine feed. So basically how this works is on the bottom is your outside measurements. And then on top of your veneer is your inside measurements. And for your outside measurements, you use your inside, the inside of your calipers. And then to do the insides, you use... Well, I'm standing behind the camera, so it's a little hard to see. Um, these parts of your jaws. Uh, that's for for doing inside measurements. Um, and then you have these knobs up top. Come on, baby, stay focused. Um, these are your locking locking uh, knobs and how how they work is you just lock it and then if you want to use the fine feed you just turn this little thumb nibble you see that screw moving and you can see those numbers sliding okay so that's your fine feed um so yeah let's let's go over to the bench and then let's just take a measurement and let's see if we can explain how 
this works. Now I got this little this little um, gauge block. I don't know if you can read that. It's come on. It's one. It's one and a half by eighteen by sixteen. But we're only gonna we're only gonna go focus on the one and a half. Um. All right, so we're just gonna, excuse me for a second here, guys. We're just gonna get a good, uh, a good feel. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to uh, clamp it down like you're trying to squish the metal. <laughs> um, so let's lock, let's lock it down. Let's um, let's get something to put behind this so we can stay focused. Hold on one second, guys. All right, how's that working? Come on, phone, don't you start me now. All right. So I can see right now. Well, I can, I can see right now what the measurement's going to come out to, but let me try to read this off to you real fast. All right, so the number where the mark we're trying to hit is one and a half. So, of course... You have your your zero here. Okay, you have your zero here, and then you have your zero here. So, how this works is, you want to see where that zero is, and we know. Oh, I'm sorry. Each one of these lines. Oh, of course, you have your inch measurements all the way down. But in between these lines, these are 50 thousandths of an inch. So you got 50 thousandths, 100 thousandths, 150 thousandths, 200 thousandths, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What's this? Let me just bring you up to the camera. I don't like the way this is focusing. Put my hand behind it. Should make it focus better. All right, so these lines here you got fifty thousandths, hundred thousandths, so forth and so forth. All right, so we know that that zero right here is past the one inch, so we know we already have one inch, and then you go. You count your fifty thousands till you get to where your zero is at. Now, as you can see, the zero is close to the five. It's closer to the five than it is to the four hundred fifty thousand or to the uh, to the fifty thousands mark. But that doesn't matter. You always bring it back to the line before it. So that zero. You bring that zero line to this halfway mark right here, and that's a 50,000. So now we know we have one inch, 450 thousandths. And then we come over here to, come on, baby. I'm sorry, guys, about this. All right, so we come over here. And now we're going to look because obviously we don't have the right, um, we don't have all the, the information yet to get our, 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 um, our correct measurement. So then you want to look at these lines here. 
see these lines here up top and on the bottom you want to see which line lines up the best come on baby focus come on sorry guys all right so what we're looking at here is the 30 oh man i can't hold my hand still is what it is hold on one second let me put you on a let me do it this way All right, perfect. So, again, you wanna look at these bottom lines and the top lines, and you wanna see which line, um, oh, and by the way, these are .001, the, these lines here on the bottom are point zeros. So these ones up here are 50 thousandths of an inch. These are a tenth of an inch, or not a tenth, a point zero zero one. So you want to come over here and you want to see which one lines up the straightest. I know it's a little hard to see on camera because it looks like a few of those lines line up. But I'm going to say that the 30 lines up the straightest. You see that 30? See this line here? So, now that we established that, we know that we have one inch, sorry, one inch. The zero right here is, is past the 450 mark. So now we know we have one inch, 450 thousandths, plus this 30 right here. So we want to add the 450 plus 30 equals 480 thousandths so now we established that our calipers are telling us that our gauge block that we used is almost an inch and a half it's 20 thousandths shy of an inch it's it's a uh, one inch 480 thousandths of an inch now we can verify that by going here on our gauge block which tells us it's one and a half. So something's wrong. And let's just grab another pair of calipers and let's just try to verify that. Um, so we have our dial on zero, close right there. Yeah, see even even our calipers are telling us the same thing. Um, come on, baby. Focus, man. I don't know if you can see that. So we got one inch, 480 thousandths. So <clears throat> we verified that. We used this to measure this. And then we used this to verify that 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 this is that size and we can even go so so far and, and we can grab another one okay, okay there we go Thing does not like to focus so there again we have one inch 480 and it's almost 81 but we're still going to run with 80 so uh yeah guys basically that's how you work 
and operate a veneer caliper. If you guys have any more questions on it, um, or if there's something I missed that you can teach me, then hey, go for it. Um, I don't claim to know it all, um, but these are the these are the tools, especially this tool here is probably the most used tool in the shop and um and that's just the way i read it so um you know like i said if if you know an easier way or a better way or something then feel free to let me know um and uh yeah guys basically that's it um you guys have a good day goodbye